Hey guys, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this quick talk through, we'll take a look at the latest version of Juiced 40, which is now at version 3.0. This update includes improvements under the hood to make it run a lot more smoothly, as well as some minor user interface tweaks. But the biggest addition here are the sampler decks, which are a bit like Tractor's Remix decks, but greatly simplified to get you triggering loops and samples quickly. I've already covered other features of Juiced 40, like My Party, which lets users interact with you online, and I'll link to that in the description box below. So in this video, I'll just give you a quick overview of the Juiced 40 interface, and then I'll show you how the sampler decks work. I've got a Hercules P32 DJ connected to my laptop, so that's what I'm going to use to control it. At the end, I'll give you my thoughts on this latest version of Juiced 40. So let's go. We've got the Juice 40 interface over here. It's currently in two deck mode. So you've got your left deck here and your right, along with all your usual transport, hot cue, and looping controls. You've also got the platter in here and a zoomed in waveform above it. On top of that, you've got the whole track in view, which you can click with your mouse to skip around. So let's try playing the track first. There we go. And then Left clicking on this waveform lets me jump around the track just like a needle search. And then you've got three effect slots here at the top with dry wet controls and a macro slot which turns all effects on and off or lets you control all their dry wet knobs at the same time. So let's try engaging the first slot which is the flanger. We're gonna turn it on. and I can control the dry wet signal of the flanger and the amount. This one this is the amount of flanger that gets applied. I can also control it using my P32 controller, like so. And all the effects actually chain into each other, so you can turn them all on if you want. And this is where the macro effects really comes in handy. So if you enable it, you can turn it all on or off just by clicking on the macro effects button. I'm using the controller right now just to toggle it. And then I've also got a knob in here that lets me control the dry, wet signal of this FX channel. Pretty easy, very simple. Stop that first. Disable all the effects again. Now at the bottom of the screen, you've got your browser section, which shows you your music folders as well as your iTunes library. You'll find songs in those folders here, which you can sort with these fields, which you can customize later on. So let's try taking a look at this folder that I've got in iTunes. I've got title, genre, artist, tempo, length, and so on. So if you analyze a track, you're gonna get its musical key. You can also sort them using the key field here. Just by clicking on it, it's gonna sort everything. And you can also add or remove fields here, depending on uh, what you'd want to see. Let's say I wanna add, oh, I don't know, track number and file path, for instance. Now, if you wanna make your browser a little less cramped, you can remove them. Just keep the ones that you like. Go and let's try to take that out so you can keep it pretty neat and compact if you want. Just like that. This is also where the My Party feature is located, which can be accessed by clicking on the My Party folder. There you go. And as you can see, I've got a couple of songs loaded in it already. Now, all these songs, if I left click on the My Party icon, uh, I can just click create a party. Their titles and the artist names will be uploaded and your guests can vote on which songs they'd want to hear as the night goes on or when the night of the party arrives. Now I've got a link on a tutorial for the My Party feature in the description box below so just left click on that if you're curious as to how that works. Now in the middle of the screen you've got your mixer with three band EQ, gain knobs, key shift for changing the song's musical key, and a high pass and low pass filter. So if you want to hear how that sounds like, let's play our track again. And I'm going to engage the filter. I'm using the controller right now and 
Here's a high pass. And this is your low pass filter. You can enable or disable it just by left clicking on it. There you go. That's what the EQ sound like. Full kill at the moment. And you can change their behavior just by going to the settings menu. Going to mixer. And you can change the way that they work. There are four settings over here. You can also change uh, the way the waveforms look. By the way, just go to general. And you've got like a lot of different ones that you can choose from them over here. Go if you want to see waveforms that way. Or if you want to check out all the others go ahead I'm just gonna keep it at the default there you go now below the EQ and the filter knobs you're gonna find your headphone cues as well as your volume faders and the cross fader okay so now let's check out what four decks mode looks like which brings out the sampler decks left click on this icon here now we'll see a 4x4 grid per sampler deck and it's automatically loaded with some samples that ships with Juice 40, courtesy of Loop Masters. So clicking on it, place it back. Let's try this one here. And I've got my P32 DJ controller connected. So if I hold the shift button, and press on the appropriate pad that's gonna make it stop there you go so you can trigger the clips that you want to play just by clicking on them or pressing on the pads that you've got on the controller let's try it with this one and they are also affected by the effects that you've got over here in your decks, which is pretty cool. And again, um, they're all affected as a single deck, not individually. So this just makes everything super, super simple. Of course, you've got volume controls per column in the sampler deck, which is nice if you wanna, you know, sh shift volume levels while you're playing with these loops, or if you wanna make something a little bit louder or softer in conjunction with whatever you've got playing in the other decks. Now the launching of these loops and samples is quantized, meaning it snaps to the master clock or whatever track you've got playing in one of the track decks, which makes it super simple to mix in a loop while you're DJing. So let's see, try that right now. Let's go to the start of this deck over here, this track over here. got the track in deck B and the remix and the sampler deck I mean in deck D playing I mean this louder softer can just get stop bass there yeah so now I'm mixing my sam my sampler deck with the track deck and you know it's working pretty nice I think creative loop here if I want to filter it out engage some effects if I want to So, you know, it's all good fun. Now, you can also uh, turn off quantization if you want. Just click on this button over here. And there are different quantization settings, something from quarter note all the way up to 32 beats. I think keeping it at four beats or even just one beat to give you a little bit more flexibility is a good idea. Yeah, sounds good. 
Yeah, so again, it's just, you know, super easy to drop in loops. Um, just make sure, you know, they're in a complementary key and you've got an on-the-fly remix that you can make and improvise if you want. And it just makes everything so much easier. And it just sounds pretty cool, I think. So, you know, that's all there is to it, really. It's just a simplified and streamlined version of what remix decks were or are for Tractor. If you thought remix decks were daunting or complicated, sampler decks in DJuice 40 are just, you know, really simple, and I found them to just work as they were intended to. I uh, just, you know, had fun mixing in loops and improvising, and there's just a lot of content that ships with it for you to try out. And let me show you how to access them. Just go to the sound library here in the folders menu. Left click on demo, you got all of these different sample packs, and let me just stop these from playing. And let's say I want to drag this on over to the deck. I've got a new sample pack in here, and just play that. Again, just really fun, um, great sounding samples that come with this already. So, uh, of course, if you want to buy some more, you can go ahead and do that. You can make your own sample packs, which you can then uh, save or export for future use. Now, I've tried uh, the previous version of DJ 40 when I was reviewing the Hercules Universal DJ, and uh, I thought that that version of DJ's 40 was a bit clunky to use. However, this latest one is the best DJ's 40 yet. Uh, it's still kind of far from being in the front line as far as DJ software goes, where that space is dominated by the likes of uh, Tractor, Toronto, and Virtual DJ. But having said that, the sampler decks are fun to play around with, and it's just easy to get lost and start playing around with loops and beats. And uh, for the first time, I think g 40 would be something that I'd consider playing a gig with, especially if I want to use the Hercules P32 DJ pad controller, which I think is another fun bit of kit to play with. I've done a review of that. I'll also add the link in the description box below. So that's it for my review of Juiced 40. I've got a full review of it over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the description box below. Hit the thumbs up icon, leave me a comment, and hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet. My name is Joey. Thank you for checking out this video. I'll see you next time.